Jonathan and Rick got in the first good one, and Jonathan following up left and right, and has the point off balance. Now LaPointe with another right or right. They both wear helmets, an uppercut by LaPointe as they're in a bear hug. Another one. Now he's got uh, Jonathan's helmet off, and he's got the advantage. Jonathan trying to pull LaPointe down, and does, by getting the right leg up in the air, and a wrestler's grip, and they fall down, and the fans roar here, as that's the tantamount to victory in one of these battles. I'll tell you one thing, Gene. I was talking with one of the Bruins uh, officials before this game. He was talking about young standout Jonathan. He says from the waist up, he is as big as any Bruin they have on their club. And right now we have Mel Bridgman and Rick Smith also hanging on. And DuPont in the DuPont has the clarinet with Gary Doak are doing the arm wrestling. With a squeeze on Watch him. Watch out. Doak and DuPont. And Rose Hood, in order to cut this down quickly, might tell them, look, knock it off or game misconduct for delay of the game. Now everybody's gathered around in front of the flyer net and Wayne Stevenson is doing a Ken Dryden and everybody else is piled in there. Finally they're separated and let's see if Broodhead wants to shake them off. Yes, I think he is. They're both going off as well. So we've got our first bit of fireworks at 319. Jonathan LaPointe Doak and DuPont, and we'll give you the penalties after we remind you. 16-41 remaining in a scoreless first period. Forest, uh, Forest Hall. Back here at the Boston Garden, we've got majors, I'm sure, to LaPointe and uh, San Jonathan for fighting, and then probably roughing minors to DuPont and Doak. As I was mentioning earlier, Gene, young Stan Jonathan is a tough customer in his own right. In the L.A. series, I was informed that he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Davy Schultz, 